Paul, the first thing I want you to do <laughs> is explain to the audience what a qubit is. So let's start there. Okay, uh, qubits are what uh, basically is a fundamental uh, computational unit of quantum computers. And uh, there's different types of qubits, uh, a trapped ion qubit, superconducting, uh, neutral atom, uh, helium. I mean, there's all kinds of different <laughs> Basically, use it to, uh, uh, for the quantum operations of uh, entanglement and uh, of uh, superposition. So, appreciate uh, that. So, <laughs> it's, it's logical that three logical qubits are better than two and better than one, right? That's right. And uh, sometimes I knew than that. One. See, I know quantum. <laughs> it's about all and, I know. Yeah. <laughs> um, and what, yeah, one of the big problems that right now holding quantum back a little bit is uh, the fact that uh, qubits are very sensitive to uh, to uh, uh, errors, and errors are caused by noise and environmental issues and other qubits, and and uh, we really don't have a, a way to uh, do error correction yet, and we need error correction in order to get uh, fault tolerant computers. We can get millions of qubits to do the big task like climate change and and uh, material science and big logistic problems and everything. So we need we need a lot of qubits. So so uh, correction is, is a big a, a big subject within quantum. Um, and uh, uh, Quantinium has been doing a lot of research on um, uh, error correction using uh, logical qubits. Logical qubits are formed by a bunch of basically a bunch of physical qubits. It makes one logical qubits, and uh, Quantinium has been able to with they're working with Delft and uh, the University of Stuttgart, and um, they've come up with uh, a way to to use uh, three logical qubits to do uh, the bit addition of one, and they've uh, successfully done it. And it, they've used uh, they come up with some uh, some operations internally. They're pretty geeky with the type of gates they're using that allows them to do this. But the uh, uh, the important part is the gates that they're using this for are very important for Shor's algorithm and a bunch of other really important uh, quantum work down the road in the future. So yeah. um, the, uh, the, the, the logical qubits basically encode, uh, encode a, uh, across many physical qubits basically to protect the information in the qubit itself. Um, IBM is doing a lot of work on error correction and error mitigation. Just about everybody's doing work on, on error correction. So this is a good step uh, forward. And, uh, you know, if they can extend this uh, to, to more qubits, I think, I think we're going to be in good shape. Yeah, it seems like every breakthrough, we just keep getting closer and closer. Yeah. Um, I like the expression that, that uh, IB, IBM uses, right? No longer, it's no longer about quantum supremacy. It's really about doing something useful in in the enterprise or government or or whatever. And it's and the way that this is is panning out and developing is exactly like a high performance computing market, mm -hmm. right? Um, you know, with simulation uh, of of things. You know, we've seen some uh, breakthroughs in 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 search, um, but ultimately that has to get into ERP and HCM and you know financial systems and things like that uh, to get people to people other than the the U.S. government and military um, people who care about that stuff uh, to get engaged. But it's great to see uh, Quantinium uh, coming up with breakthroughs it's amazing a company like quantinium and the size uh, that it's at can keep uh, can keep doing this stuff it's it's super impressive 